Here is my Marie Marot by J. Crew shirt review. <laughs> Stay until the very end to get all the styles if you want to shop any of the items, they are linked below. Follow me on LTK at Gia G. Dixon for more classic, elegant, and feminine style. I am not here to talk garbage on a brand. I am here to give an honest review and I'm not here to kiss butts. So <laughs> I want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth, especially as someone who loves high quality and elegant style. I have a ton of shirts and I saw this beautiful, beautiful shirt from J. Crew with a collaboration by Marie Marot and Thomas Mason. But I had a lot of the other colors and the other styles, so I did not buy them. I ended up buying this lavender style. In Timeless We Trust, this is the motto of Marie Marot and J. Crew. You can dress your whole family with your clothes, from your teenager to your grandmother. These are direct quotes from the collaboration featuring new silhouettes, special embroidered touches and fabrics from some of the world's finest mills. It's 100% cotton, fabulous, machine washable, that's just fine. And the colors come in Thomas Mason cotton cotton poplin, lavender pink stripe, blue stripe chambray, and rugby. All limited edition. There are also some more items. I'll have them linked below along with how to style this. I got this in lavender because I do not have a lavender shirt yet. I have a lavender polo, lilac cropped cashmere cardigan, but that's it. That's probably more than most people have. And then I have a few lavender dresses because I'm a deep winter and makes my features pop out more. And as for a classic cut shirt, I have not owned lavender until now. That's the reason why I bought this. And I'm going to tear this apart individually as a standalone shirt and in comparison to others. So why? Because it's $248. Why is it so expensive? It's limited edition and it looks like we're paying three different brands. So that's three different prices, three times the price. Marie Marot, Thomas Mason, and J. Crew. I've paid much more for a shirt, but those were lifetime shirts that you can go to the brands and get the cuffs and collars replaced for cheap once they do wear out, and that's every once in a while, every few years. And for those of you who do not know, I collect luxury shirts. Here are just a small example of them, and I mean from original makers in London on German Street where they were invented and perfected the style. So that's why I'm so hungry up on the price because I know premium and even bespoke shirts and the price does not equate to the value or quality in this case. It reflects the marketing and it's a cotton shirt with average fitting collars and cuffs. I like the color. In fact, I'm infatuated with the color, which is why I shelled out 248 bones of my personal money. And this fit is in classic as in classic Oxford cut. The collar I notice is a bit shorter than a standard executive. So I'll show you what another classic Oxford cut looks like. I have a whole Ralph Lauren, uh, a Polo Ralph Lauren review linked below. And this, when I tuck it in, still makes me look slim if I wear a pleated skirt with this. And I even have that in the full video. You can see how I style this. Watch that after this. You're gonna love these styles if you're looking for a classic cut shirt. This is classic cut also, but I feel like it's even bigger. And I'm petite, I'm 5'2 and a half. I weigh 110 pounds and I have a 32F chest. So I have a really big chest. And if I wear a classic cut, I look like I'm wearing a tent. With a Ralph Lauren shirt, I do not. So wearing this just made me feel like it's very average like any other shirt that I put on. And the collar I noticed is a bit shorter than the standard executive. So let me give an example. This, they have this color also in pink stripe on the J, on the J. Crew collaboration with Marie Moreau. But this is an executive from Haas and Curtis. I'll have everything linked below. And this executive shirt, the collar is larger. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a bit more exaggerated. It's larger. This does not have collar stays that I can see. The Ralph Lauren has collar stays. This is a classic fit also, and I do not look like I'm wearing just a giant sheet of fabric. This does, and I don't, I just don't know why it's classic, but it's not. So this is classic. This is what I know to be classic. The Ralph Lauren shirt is what I know to be classic. This is supposed to be classic, but it's still slightly bigger. And I don't understand that. And then I also have another slim fit executive shirt from Haas and Curtis here as an example to show you the different colors and to show you the contrast of the collar with the, the size. You see how this is much smaller and this is larger. So British style is known for being a bit more built. So when a, a gentleman wears a British style shirt or suit, they look stronger. And uh, I think that's a great 
part of how flattering good fashion and good style makes you look especially when items are bespoke or even if they are a step down and if they're uh, custom versus bespoke. Personally, I prefer the bigger collar and cuffs because it exaggerates your daintiness as a lady. Even as a gentleman, a collar and good cuffs makes you look stronger. This is more relaxed to my eye. It looks classic, but with a twist of easygoing comfort. And on this site, they say this style goes from day to night. I highly disagree. This is meant for day dress only. I have a whole video on dress code etiquette for all occasions. I'm an etiquette consultant after all. You can check that out link below after this. And dressing well is simply dressing appropriately and dressing Dressing well is good manners. To me, this is a work shirt but turned into Instagram fast fashion dressing. I would wear it to be the cool girl in my office. I own my own business, but if I do, if I saw someone on my team wearing this, I'd make a comment on how cute it is. This is definitely on the casual side and the second most casual shirt I have. The most casual shirt I have is a $12 shirt from H&M, which is a 100% cotton shirt that I wear to the beach or in the garden. This I can wear running errands, going to lunch or even to work. I work at home and the quality isn't bad. The cuffs just annoy me. So this is what the cuff looks like. It has like kind of like the Nehru style. The, the collaboration also has a pink stripe. So I'm showing you this pink stripe from Thomas Pink. They do not make these anymore. This is a single cuff with a button. It also feels more substantial when it comes to the quality and it feels very structured. And then this is a double cuff or a French cuff. So there are different types of double cuffs. There are different types of single cuffs. This is a squared off one. And this cuff link is also linked below with Haas and Curtis. This is a Haas and Curtis shirt. These are so classic and they have amazing suits and shirts for gentlemen and ladies. I love this rose gold knot. It's beautiful. And so the other side looks like this. So this is what a double cuff looks like. It's really stunning and it makes all the difference. Where I am paying, say this shirt was $55. It was originally $79, but if you buy more than one, it's $55 for multi-buy. I expect that quality of this shirt to be minimum like Ralph Lauren cuffs. Where this is a $12 shirt from H&M where it's like, these are the cuffs. They're like barely even cuffs, but I wear these to the beach and it's $12 and it's 100% cotton. This is 100% cotton and this feels less substantial and less, I don't know, it's just like, it's good. It's not a bad quality, but it doesn't feel like a, a $248 shirt. I've tried on $600 shirts and I've tried on $400 shirts and I've returned them and I kept the 128 and the $55 shirts or $79 shirts. This isn't what I expect to get for 248. This is definitely just a name brand piece that it's just marketing that you're paying for. These have collar stays so you can remove them when you wash them. You can see and when you iron your shirts or steam them. This is Polo Ralph Lauren and it keeps it structured as you wear it and to take it a little step further this is a thomas pink shirt so thomas pink shirts usually have quality more outlasting than other shirts you can tell the immediate difference just by holding it just by touching it a huge difference in the structure even on the inside my husband can point out some more details and i'll ask him to point out more details in a video in a separate one if you're more even more interested on a proper shirt and what constitutes a good shirt let me know what you think of the styles color and brands in the comments below i love timeless style that lasts through the seasons and lifetimes i have been buying j crew styles for years and years and years i'm currently wearing their cashmere crew neck right now and i can tell you i will not stop buying from them give this a like so more people can find this because ugly clothes are a global issue and elegance does not have to be expensive Expensive. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and click the bell for more elegant living and I'll see you later.